years and still talking, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hello, everybody. This is Alex Bennett. We go until midnight tonight here on the Ramble. Over most of the same gap net. And uh, what I'm going to do tonight is I'm going to play a rerun of something. Uh, and the reason I'm doing it is because I just uh, I am not in the mood to talk for a half hour. <laughs> okay. I just, it's one thing after another, folks. I'm, I'm starting to get uh, uh, pretty, pretty sick and tired of being sick and tired, okay? Anyway, we're going to play uh, an old interview we did uh, a couple months ago with uh, Will Durst, uh, because he's always interesting to listen to. And then after that, we'll go to our citizen panel. So here's Will. Now we wend our way out to California, and look at that lovely visage of Will Durst. Hi, Will. Uh, you're wending your way westward. Wending my yes. way. Yes, hi. Hello, w East Coast. How are you? Yes, uh, yes. Uh, hello, West Coast. You know, when I was a kid, I was amazed because they did a show called, there was a Sunday show. Maybe it was Omnibus, but I don't know if it was. Uh, but they had a special, and what they did, it was the first transcontinental broadcast. Oh, wow. Yeah in which they showed the East Coast and the West Coast at the same time. Same time, wow. Live. And that is, that's pretty impressive. And, and they showed, I think, the Golden Gate Bridge, ah. right, as the West Coast and as the East Coast. Uh, I guess they showed, I don't know, probably Donald Trump at that time. Anyway, uh, Trump. Uh, it, it, it was, to me, one of the moments I remember as a child of just being in awe of the fact that we could see both coasts split screen at the same time. And now we just do this every couple of weeks, you know? I love the fact that when they use uh, the West Coast, as you're right, as you said, that they always, the, the immediate iconography for the West Coast will either be the Hollywood sign. Yeah. Golden Gate Bridge. Right. One or the other. Yeah, yeah. And I'd prefer it be the Golden Gate Bridge because it's more beautiful than the Hollywood sign. Yeah, the uh, although the Lucas Museum may become, uh, I don't know if you saw uh, the design, the architectural no. design. Where the are they going the to gonna build it? Uh, next to USC. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. in L.A. Because he tried to get it in San Francisco, and they said no. And then he tried Chicago, and they said no. So he finally went to Why did they LA. say no? Yeah, they're idiots. I know. that It's idiotic why they would even think of saying no to something like that. Oh, it's it's people who think they know art, and, oh, you know, he's not he's just a movie director, and he's going to Disney-fy it, and he's probably got a couple of posters because he wasn't showing them yeah. his collection. You know, he was yeah. at... Yeah, I'm not going to show you the collection. Well, well yeah, you know, try. you know what happened in in uh, it, it, with Lucas has always had this problem, and one of the big problems that he had was back in the old days. Uh, he um, uh, tried to he wanted to build Industrial Light and Magic, and he already had uh, Lucas Visual or whatever it was in San Rafael. Lucas Valley Road, and, and, right? And, and, and no, no. In San Rafael, he had what it was called. It had a sign on it said Kerner Optical. What it was was Industrial Light and Magic. Oh, Kerner Optical? <laughs> yeah, it was on Kerner Street. And so he wanted to build his huge facility in San Rafael, and they turned him down. So that's why he went out to Lucas Valley Road. Now people say, "Oh, it's on Lucas. It's on Lucas Valley Road." Ah, he must have had it named after him. No, it was always Lucas Valley Road. I remember driving that as a kid, right? And he just put plopped it down in the middle of uh, of, of uh, upstate uh, up the road, Marin, and San Rafael didn't get all the uh, all the jobs and the money out of it. Yeah. 
you know. And then uh, let's see here. Uh, so now he wants to build a, a museum, and they won't take him in San Francisco. Fuck you, you know. Exactly. Why didn't they want it? Too much traffic. No, a lot of reasons. He he didn't have this design originally. There's a great story in Vanity Fair about it that I just read. Yeah. Yeah. He didn't have uh, this or design, and they told him originally that they want that they wanted for that space in the Presidio with a view of the Golden Gate Bridge that they wanted an olden timey museum look. So he hired an architect and gave it an olden timey museum look, and then they said, "No, it's too olden timey museum for that space." <laughs> Well, he already has this huge amount of space uh, where the hospital used to be, yeah, uh, yeah. in in uh, uh, Letterman Pacific. General Hospital, yeah, yeah. Uh, and and he took that space and built basically Lucas Digital, and it's a beautiful facility. So they shouldn't have minded him going into the Presidio for another thing, you know. It was, it was a different group. It was a group of art curators and people on boards of the Presidio Trust, darling. And it was uh, rich people who thought they knew more and he might not have paid the proper respect. That's what it sounds like. Yeah. And then and then his wife is originally from Chicago. Yeah. And so she said, oh, let's go to Chicago because I know Rahm Emanuel, the mayor there. Right. He was all excited about it. And he said, yeah, yeah, we'll do it. And then the same thing happened. You know, the people turned against it. They wanted to put it on the lakefront in Chicago. And there was people who have, like, this lakefront, you know, preservation society. And they said, no, no, you can't have that. And and then he just went down the line. Who wouldn't want a Lucas Museum? I know. <laughs> I know. There are some stupid people in this world. No, it's it's egos, you know. It's, it, it, it's, everybody's got to play their little games, right? Yeah. There's that old joke, you know. Why is a uh, university uh, faculty politics so brutal? Because so little is at stake. <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, wow, that's amazing. Well, anyway, you know, I. Uh, uh, all I remember is that whole story about how he he wanted to you know build he, he, part of the problem. Also, he when he was filming, um, um, uh, what do you call it, uh, American Graffiti. Oh my God! He did it on Fourth Street in San Rafael, and after the second night of shooting, they kicked him out of San Rafael, and he had to go. He finished it in Petaluma. Ah. Yeah. So I, part of that film, they turned the block, and it's Petaluma. <laughs> you know, but again, it was San Rafael being assholes and so Hold on a second, folks. I'm uh, I'm screwed up here. I screwed up. I just uh, did a terrible thing. Mm. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh fuck. And I can't go back to the middle of that interview. That's the problem with it. It won't pick up where it left off. Oh well. Um screw it. Um should I play the interview over again? I don't know. We'll just uh, we'll play it for a little bit and you can hear it over again for the first 10 minutes and then I'll um uh, oh, oh fuck. This really sucks. Okay, let me see here. Let me go. Okay, there. We'll, uh, we'll and now we wend our way go back out to, to the California. And, over again. and look at that lovely visage of Will Durst. Hi, Will. Uh, you're wending your way westward. Wending yes. my way. Yes, hi. Hello, East Coast. How are you? Yes, uh, yes. Uh, hello, West Coast. You know, when I was a kid, I was amazed because they did a show called, there was a Sunday show Maybe it was Omnibus, but I don't know if it was. Uh, but they had a special, and what they did, it was the first transcontinental broadcast. Oh, wow. In, in which 
they showed the East Coast and the West Coast at the same time. Same time. Wow. Live. And that is, that's pretty impressive. And, and they showed, I think, the Golden Gate Bridge. Ah. Right? As the West Coast and as the East Coast, uh, I guess they showed, I don't know, probably Donald Trump at that time. Anyway, uh, Drumpf. Uh, it, it, it was, to me, one of the moments I remember as a child of just being in awe of the fact that we could see both coasts split screen at the same time. Now we just do this every couple of weeks, you know? I love the fact that when they use uh, the West Coast, as you're right, as you said, that they always, the the immediate iconography for the West Coast will either be the Hollywood sign, yeah, Golden Gate Bridge, right, one or the other, yeah, yeah, and I'd prefer it be the Golden Gate Bridge because it's more beautiful than the Hollywood sign. Yeah, the uh, although the Lucas Museum may become. Uh, I don't know if you saw uh, the design, the architectural no. design. Where are the, they going uh, the to? Where, where are they going to build it? Uh, next to USC. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. in LA. Because he tried to get it in San Francisco, and they said no. And then he tried Chicago, and they said no. So he finally. Why did they LA. say no? Yeah, they're idiots. I know that it's idiotic. Why they would even think of saying no to something like that? Oh, it's it's people who think they know art, and oh, you know, he's not. He's just a movie director, and he's gonna Disneyfy it, and he's probably got a couple of posters because he wasn't showing them yeah. his collection. You know, he was yeah. at. Yeah, I'm not gonna show you the collection. Well, well you know, right. you know what happened in in uh, with Lucas has always had this problem, and one of the big problems that he had was back in the old days. Uh, he um, uh, tried to, he wanted to build Industrial Light and Magic. And he already had uh, Lucas Visual or whatever it was in San Rafael. Lucas uh, Valley and, Road, and, right. And, 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 no, no, in San Rafael he had what it was called, it had a sign on it said Kerner Optical. What it was, was Industrial Light and Magic. Oh, Kerner Optical? <laughs> yeah, it was on Kerner Street. And so he wanted to build his huge facility in San Rafael, and they turned him down. So that's why he went out to Lucas Valley Road. Now, people say, oh, it's on Lucas, it's on Lucas Valley Road. Ah, he must have had it named after him. No, it was always Lucas Valley Road. I remember driving that as a kid, right? And he just put, plopped it down in the middle of, uh, of, of uh, upstate, uh, up the road, Marin, and San Rafael didn't get all the uh, all the jobs and the money out of it, yeah. you know. And then uh, let's see here. Uh, so now he wants to build a, a museum, and they won't take him in San Francisco. Fuck you, you know. Exactly. Why didn't they want it? Too much traffic. No, a lot of reasons. He he didn't have this design originally. There's a great story in Vanity Fair about it that I just read. Yeah. yeah. He didn't have uh, this or design. And they told him originally that they want that they wanted for that space in the Presidio with a view of the Golden Gate Bridge that they wanted an olden timey museum look. So he hired an architect and gave it an olden timey museum look. And then they said, "No, it's too olden timey museum for that space." <laughs> well, he already has this huge amount of space uh, where the hospital used to be. Yeah, yeah. Uh, in in uh, uh, Letterman it's General it's Hospital, yeah, yeah. Uh, and and he took that space and built basically Lucas Digital, and it's a beautiful facility. So they shouldn't have minded him going into the Presidio for another thing, you know. It was, it was a different group. It was a group of art curators and people on boards of the Presidio Trust, darling, and. It was uh, rich people who thought they knew more and he might not have paid the proper respect. That's what it sounds like. Yeah. And then and then his wife is originally from Chicago. Yeah. And so she said, oh, let's go to Chicago because I know Rahm Emanuel, the mayor there. Right. He was all excited about it. And he said, yeah, yeah, we'll do it. And then the same thing happened. You know, the people turned against it. They wanted to put it on the lakefront 
in Chicago, and there was people who have like this lakefront, you know, preservation society, and they said, no, no, you can't have that, and and then he just went to LA. Who wouldn't want a Lucas Museum? I know. <laughs> I know. There are some stupid people in this world. No, it's it's egos, you know. It's, it, it's, it's, everybody's got to play their little games, right? Yeah. There's that old joke, you know. Why is a uh, university uh, faculty politics so brutal? Because so little is at stake. <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, wow, that's amazing. Well, anyway, you know, I uh, uh, all I remember is that whole story about how he he wanted to, you know, build he, he, part of the problem. Also, he when he was filming. Um, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, American Graffiti. Oh my God! He did it on Fourth Street in San Rafael, and after the second night of shooting, they kicked him out of San Rafael, and he had to go. He finished it in Petaluma. Ah. Yeah. So I ha part of that film, they turned the block, and it's Petaluma. <laughs> you know. But again, it was San Rafael being assholes, and so he just has, he. He, if, as a matter of fact, threatened to pull Industrial Light and Magic out of Marin altogether and take with it the, I don't know, 5,000 or so odd jobs that, uh, that uh, people have there. Much less a tax base. Have you ever been to Skywalker Ranch? Never. Oh, it's wonderful. It's just wonderful. I mean, it, he built it like uh, uh, there's an old, uh, you know, uh, old-fashioned Victorian house on the property and then Lucas Sound is a winery you know it's a winery barn with the the grapes growing outside and there's a big lake in the middle of it and Lucas uh, the uh, what I guess will go into the museum the archives were on the other side in this big giant stable and he then he wrote this whole history of the ranch. It supposedly goes back to 1850 when a sailor came home from the sea and started this ranch. And they have this whole backstory for the ranch. <laughs> and at night, uh, they can uh, hear the sound of the uh, the mountain lion that lives on the property. Uh. Yeah, they they uh, you know he has his own fire department, which serves the whole area. Not cool. just his ranch, but he built his own fire department to, to take care of that. It's a wonderful place. Just a wonderful place. And then one of the things that really amazed me was uh, I, I went to lunch there, and then I started, you can walk around the house. He'd let you walk around the Victorian. And I'm looking at this big case, this big display case, and there is Indiana Jones's whip and his hat and the sky. You know, the idol that he takes. Yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. Am I in awe of that? No. What I'm in awe of, he somehow, I don't know how he did this, in silent movies there were a thing called the Keystone Cops. They were a comedy group of about, I don't know, maybe 11, 12. Max Sennett. Yeah. Max Seven, Sennett. They were called the Keystone Cops. You know, and they were just goofy cops. He had all the badges from the Keystone oh, yeah. Cops. That oh, wow. just, I was in awe of that. How he that, even thought to that get that. That is cool. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, it's a wonderful place. This is a wonderful place. And they kept, they always kept giving him a bad time when he wanted to add on to the ranch. They said he couldn't have more than, he couldn't have more than a certain amount of people. He couldn't have more than about 300 people working on the ranch at any time because they didn't want to ruin the ecology of the area. And yet he was doing everything he could to preserve the ecology of the area. There was nothing there that was intrusive to the to nature. It was all folded into nature. He just hates Marin County. Just hates I don't blame him. And he he gives that county, as I say, about five thousand jobs between. Uh, uh, well, I, I guess uh, Industrial Light and Magic isn't in San Rafael anymore, but they were there. Lucas Digital was on Highway 101. That's where they had all their games and things like that. And then you had Lucas Valley Road with Industrial Light, you know, with uh, uh, the ranch. Skywalker What's in ranch. the Presidio? The pres Presidio, what he did is he, is he moved a lot of his stuff into the Presidio. 
basically yeah. it's called Lucas Digital, and I mean that's pretty uh, yeah, much that's what indu- that's where Industrial Light Magic works out of now, I think. But it's it's a beautiful property. He's done a nice job with it, and a big statue of Yoda. You know. So. Oh well, what the hell? With a screening room. Huh? And sometimes, sometimes uh, the Academy, like when it shows uh, uh, yeah. the screening room, uh, sometimes when it shows films f- that are being nominated for the Screen Actors Guild, yeah, they they get his permission to use it. So I've been I've been to the the screening room, but that's it. And that's in Lucas Digital. That's in the Presidio. <laughs> yeah, I used to go. You know, I used to go. They used to have showings at the Dolby. Theater. Yeah, yeah. And this is a theater that Dolby has to test their sound. So they always had state-of-the-art sound whenever you went there. It was, like, amazing. Just amazing. But you probably can't get there now because of the traffic, so what the fuck. No, it's on. they moved from Petrero. Now I think they're on Market Street. I think Dolby is is right on Market Street, like uh, 9th or 10th. You know something? you got to think about it. How long has that company been around now? Dolby, yeah. Yeah, and still as important as they've ever been. You know, they've just kept ahead of the curve. I noticed they have a thing called Dolby Vision, which is what... Uh, Dolby Vision. Uh, uh, Dolby Vision, which is what uh, uh, the high-def, the 4K versions of film sometimes are shown in on, uh, uh, on uh, I think maybe it's uh, Netflix and, uh. or Amazon or whatever. And it's uh, yeah, it's uh, it, and and uh, it's amazing. It's amazing. What are you watching these days? I just watch. I'll tell you what I bought. I bought a restored version of the movie Oklahoma. And you're gonna say why? No. I know you have that look of why. Uh, uh, of Oklahoma. Uh, the reason being that was shot in two, two. It was shot twice. Once in Todd A O which was a new large format screen process at the time, and the other in CinemaScope. And they would do one scene, and then they would set it up again and redo it in CinemaScope. And then they would do it in Todd A.O., and then they would do it in CinemaScope. So everybody said, if you can ever see the Todd A.O. version, it's spectacular, and the performances are better because they're not as exhausted by the time they got to the CinemaScope take. And they were right. I got the Tadeo version. They have the Tadeo and the Cinemascope all in the same the, the album. Criterion collection? No, no. The 20th Century Fox. It is the most gorgeous print I've ever seen on Blu-ray. I mean, no. it is just, if you can get, it is just stunning. And I have some 4K sets here. It just pops. I mean, it's, it's just amazing. And then you go over to the Cinemascope one, and you go, eh. <laughs> you really? Eh. And, and which one was released? Uh, uh, both. Uh, they did the um, uh, they did the Todd A.O. for reserved seat-only theaters where they had the Todd A.O. equipment installed, which was uh. 70 millimeter and so on, uh, and running at 30 frames per second. And then they... For the rest of the country, because they didn't want to limit its distribution, they released it in Cinemascope around the country. So if you were in a major city, for instance, you could go see it. San Francisco ran it in Tadeo, I remember. Yeah. And that was one of only two films officially made in the original Tadeo format, the other one being Around the World in 80 Days. So, Pretty amazing. Pretty amazing yeah. stuff. Uh, excuse me, by the way, folks, if every now and then I'm dabbing my eye, but my allergies have just been... In fact, this eye... Oh, no. What is over here? What is that schmutz I've got there? I don't know what that is. That's just a bag. Uh, this eye is just watering all day. Does it look uh, kind of... It looks a little droopy, yeah. A little droopy. Well, I'll, I'll put on the glasses. There you go. I can't tell now. Now you can't tell. Now I can't. A- anyway, uh, how how are your allergies out there? Are they? Uh, Debbie's going through um, extreme sores, but I'm okay. Yeah. I don't. Uh, I'm yeah. Wait, you're not Jewish? Jewish? Where do you get to use a word like sores? Well, I uh, give you I give you permission. 
Yeah, I'm I'm unofficially Jewish. You're unofficially Jewish. So uh, what do you think of the world around us? You know, that's why I call you, and then we get to talking about uh, Lucas and movies, and now we got 10 minutes left to just wrap up the whole world. <laughs> you know what made me mad today? I turn on the news, okay? And what I want as my first story, okay, are the kids in Thailand. They got them all out. They got everybody out. I think it's pretty amazing. I think it's pretty it phenomenal. Um, I remember when I was a kid, there was a uh, little girl in a well. In a well. A girl she, in a well. Yeah. And we were all like, she died. But we were oh, all. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think, was her name Kathy Fiscus? Well, how do I remember that name? You know, yesterday I went to a doctor. I'm really bothered by this. I went to a doctor for neurology because I have no, these numb feet. And I wanted to find out what it was. Yeah, that ain't no good. Well, he says it's, uh, it's, uh, it's a form of spinal stenosis, and he's not, nothing go to go. Physical therapy would t help it. Okay. Anyway. How about but acupuncture? He, but he gives me some tests and stuff. He asks me some questions. How old are you? What's your, where do you live? <laughs> Things like that. You know? And then he says, who's the governor of New York? And I completely freeze up. I can't remember. It's Cuomo. Isn't yeah, it? yeah. And then Andrew. Uh, yeah, he said, "Well, and who's the mayor of New York City?" De Blasio. I couldn't remember. Oh, really? Yeah. Now I think one of the reasons I couldn't remember either one is I pay more attention to national news than I do to local news. <laughs> no, really, I don't read the local newspapers, don't watch the local news. So I, you know, that's maybe why I froze up on it. I may have frozen up on it because I've got Alzheimer's. I don't know. He didn't find these. Don't worry about that. He says, Who's yeah. the governor of California? Governor of California is, of course, Jerry Brown. See, <laughs> you're still living here. Well, because. <laughs> Because I know him. You know, he was a friend, you know. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, yeah. Uh, he did the show, and I went over to his place for dinner and stuff, and I, you know, there's good old Jerry, you know, I over and over. a couple times. Yeah. He's got the sense of humor of an end table. Yeah, but he's a nice guy. He's a decent he is, guy. Yeah. Decent guy. guy. Uh, and and uh, Gavin Newsom will probably be the new governor. Ha, ha, ha. See, I even know that. See? 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 But I can't remember de Blasio. To save my life or Cuomo. I said, his brother has a TV show. He says, what's his name? I said, the same name as his. <laughs> yeah. So this has been bothering me, you know, uh, that I'm, you know, but it turns out yeah. my, my numb yeah. feet are nothing to worry about. So I'm, I'm still waiting for the doctor I go to. It tells me, uh, this is going to kill you, <laughs> you know, and, and it's still nothing, you know. Heart's be doing fine. Blood pressure's perfect. Uh, you know, you might have to put up with me for a while. Have you ever read this book called Tune, Tune In? It's about the Beatles. No. It's uh, very good. Very good. Uh, it's about, uh, it, it covers the Beatles, you know, like all biographies, where it goes back. Yeah. And uh, it does... You know, the grandparents met, and then they came, and then the parents, and he didn't work, and then he left, and then he was six years old, yeah. and then he grew up. Yeah. And it takes him all the way until December 31st, 1960. Oh, yes, I think you maybe told me about this. It, sto yeah. it stops at the time they become a hit. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, that... Uh, that uh, and you, 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 were, you were friends with John Lennon, right? Yeah, I when knew, he, I knew when John. When he spent time in New York. Yeah. I, I don't know, I've, you know, friends is a nebulous term. I was an acquaintance of, he was there an acquaintance is. of yeah. mine. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so anyway, so I just want, so anyway, when they, you know, I wanted to see the news of the of the kids being brought out, you know, in Thailand, because that's a big story, right? And it, what's Supreme the, fir Court what's the first right? one? They do a half hour on the Supreme Court nominee. Do I give a fuck? This guy, this guy looks like he's an asshole. He's got bad skin. I don't care about him. You know, and I don't, I don't need to have this Brett. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Brett is not a Supreme Court justice's name. Brett. <laughs> then there'll be Brandon. <laughs> and Madison. 
<laughs> Supreme Court Justice Brooklyn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just, I, I don't know. I, I, uh, I, He's named after a city now, Brooklyn and Dallas. And Are you getting to the point like I am where you just don't give a shit? I mean, I know it's your job, and it's my job too, but I don't give a shit. Just... Um, I'm, I'm, I'm going back to the Bush administration, all my jokes from there, and I'm just recycling them. <laughs> <laughs> but that's unfair to Bush. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> That's unfair that to Bush. To I'm, George W. Bush. You know, uh, you, everything has something you compare it to, and, and this is a benchmark, and you go back and you look at Bush and go, well, he wasn't that bad. No. Now, no. you remember when he was president, he was terrible. Well, he also had Cheney. He had the dark dark lord next to him. Yeah, you know? yeah. Have you seen Death of Stalin? Yes. Yeah, yeah. I like that up until the end. At the end, it suddenly gets deadly serious. It got a little dark. Yeah, it? I mean, yeah. this is a film about the death of Stalin, who basically, uh, what, did he have a heart attack, was it? And they, they just sat around and said, should we get a doctor? Shall we got not get a doctor? Well, <laughs> which doctor should we call? I don't know. What doctor do you think we should call? I don't know, you know. And the, everybody stalled until they... Held the we mirror. killed all the good doctors. <laughs> yeah, we killed all the good doctors. It was, uh, and they, uh, you know, I think they finally hold a mirror up to him. Oh, he's dead. Okay, good. Uh, uh, but it gets very dark at the end, and it's so dark that it negates any comedic value the film has. Oh, I don't know. I thought it was good. Yeah, I think I think it also. Uh, pretty much realistically demonstrated what happened. Yeah, yeah. Maybe in slapstick terms. But John Hamm as who? B B that was Barry? John Hamm. That was Jason Isaacs. No, who? I made the same mistake. I thought it was John Hamm. It's Jason Isaacs. Oh, really? But is Beria? Yeah. No. No, not Beria. No, uh, Zukov. He was uh, the general. But, oh, okay. But no, I'm thinking, I think John Hamm was in it, wasn't he? No, that was uh, that was the guy who played uh, whoever Malfoy. Play, whoever in, played in, no, uh, yeah. In, well, yeah. anyway, let's not argue about a picture. Most of the people out there haven't seen yet, and they should see. By the way, it's available online and so on. You can, you can. Yeah, yeah, do yeah. You, you yeah. can, you can. Yeah, everything is. What else have you seen that's good? What else have I seen that's good? Um, well, I like The Incredibles too. I, would say, I think that I was the last it. movie we went to, you know. I saw Deadpool 2. Yeah, Deadpool 2. It was fun. It wasn't as good as the first one. But it was no, fun. I didn't think so either, but you didn't, you didn't Here we have... are. The world's going to hell in a handbasket. I'm talking with a political sage, and what are we discussing? What movie did you see lately? Uh, uh, it's It sucks. It's, uh, he's he's just ramrodding shit through. I mean, you know, this... Did you this, hear... Toad gets two Supreme Court, and he might get three because uh, Ruth Bader Ginsburg is eighty-five. She says she's not going anywhere. She will stay there till God takes her. Is how she's yeah, put. That's, yeah, I wonder why Kennedy got up. Because he basically is a conservative, and he wanted to allow Trump the ability to put in another justice. You know, I don't, you know, I don't Kennedy know. wasn't the. We think of him as a great guy because occasionally he would vote on our side. But he wasn't. I mean, he voted. Uh, he, he voted uh, for a lot of things which were terrible, you know. So I mean, he was really a conservative judge, and uh, yeah. And Justice Brett. <laughs> yes, right. Brett. <laughs> Brett. Supreme Court Justice Brett. Very yeah, good. He, he, they're calling him Scalia Light. Scalia Light. Wow. Yeah, that's... Uh, but I, I just, you know, I mean, it just, I, today he, he said something which was just amazing. Somebody said, what do you think about all the children who aren't being reunited with their parents? He said, I have an answer to that the problem. He said, what? Don't try to immigrate. Wow. That, anyway, how that's cruel the, that's an the, answer okay, is let me, that. Let me stop that. Hold on I mean, do you realize? Do you uh, realize the I've got horrible to, situation I've he's created for this. those families okay, and okay. the trauma? All right, stop it. Okay, stop. Uh, just a few things. I was going to run the. Uh, well, somebody put up a thing saying no show. What? No, here. There's a show here. 
I just, you know, what happened? Oh, I don't even want to get into it. I'm so sick of all of this. You know, this is not get. This is not fun for me anymore. Okay, this is not fun for me anymore. I was a, a little out of it tonight when I started, and I would decide to play an interview with Will Durst, and then what happens is if I do something else on the computer, I f hit a switch, and it turns the interview off. So then I got to start it from the beginning because it keeps, doesn't, I don't, didn't have it set so it would keep going, and uh, that caused problems. Then all of a sudden the, uh, the, the uh, ramble thing came up. Uh, I can't. I shouldn't try to do anything else when I'm playing a video interview. When I play audio, I don't have a problem. But anyway, I'm I'm just I'm I'm you know I'm just kind of out of it and uh, not uh, uh, particularly uh, in love with uh, doing this program anymore. And uh, I just uh, I, I don't know. I'm just I, I've just I've just had it, you know. Uh, and then Phil keeps sending me messages. Oh, what's wrong? What's the problem? Are you having a problem tonight? No, we're not having a problem tonight. Just we're getting on a little later than uh, usual with the talk portion of the program, so you'll have to wait, Phil. Jeez almighty. So I, uh, yeah, no, I mean, I come home. I, I got my uh, my machine back, all right? Uh, what 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 are the latest encyclicals here from Phil? Let's see here. Uh, my day was shitty too. Delivery issues. You were forgiven. I, I, forgiven for what, Phil? I don't have to apologize for shit. Oh boy, I just you know I'm not even going to post this show tonight. Uh, I I will post it where it's got to be posted because I post the show, but I'm not going to make a special. Thing out of it at YouTube, and I'm not going to put it on Facebook. And I, you know, I really, I, I don't care anymore. I just don't fucking care anymore. Anyway, so I, I get the, I get the thing back, and what's the first thing it does? It crashes on me. So, it's not crashing now though. So I think it was just something I did that forced it to crash, and it was a program that I'd used before that had made it crash. So, what the hell? Anyway. It sent me back a machine now where they have replaced everything inside the machine except for the flash memory and the uh, power supply. So I have a whole new computer, and it's sitting in there, and I'm, I, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not using it tonight, and I probably won't use it tomorrow night. I won't use it until I'm sure it doesn't crash on its own, okay? So anyway. Uh, let me open up the, uh, the Skype lines. If you want to talk, you can talk. I uh, I just the whole show just fucked up in the beginning here, and I, you know, that in a, in and of itself is is getting to me. I really what happens is while uh, while an interview is playing, I like to get some work done, like post uh, Damien's show, and then I try I, I was trying to make up a uh, a posting for uh, the interview I have to do tomorrow with Snyder. God, how I hate doing that. Uh, and uh, while I was doing that, I was hitting certain buttons and see if I hit the if I hit the uh, control button. Uh, this is what happens, okay? If I hit the uh, uh, command button, that's what happens. I probably should change what those buttons are, and then that won't happen, okay? But so anyway, it fucked up everything, and then I push. I didn't look, and I had pushed another button, and. Uh, uh, the uh, the uh, ramble uh, anim animation came up. Well, here comes Charlie Wallace. He's the first one in. If he wants to be part of this whole mess, uh, let me see here. Let me go to. Um, let me see, Charlie. Uh, open up your. Charlie. Uh, open up your camera, okay? Uh, all right. And of course. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Here's Charlie. Here's Charlie. Wallace. Okay, and now I will go up here, and this is this is the other part that's not getting to be fun anymore either. You know, is having to do this shit to get people on the on the show. Uh, and uh, let me see here. Um, let me see. Um, hey. Uh, well, um, there you are. Okay, hold on a second. Now I have to turn this off and. Then to bring this on i mean this is it just isn't worth doing anymore it really isn't you know 
I just, uh, it's not fun any longer. And oh, that's Charlie Wallace. Oh, there's, there, there's Phil. Now here comes Ray Renati, and he'll try to get on. And of course he can't get on, so then I have to do the whole thing again of getting Ray Renati on um, by adding him. Meanwhile, let me transition over to here so people can see you guys. Um, and um, uh, here's Ray Renati, so let me Hello. go over here and put him in the number three slot. Uh, Ray, okay, all right, there he is, there he should be. Um, well, you don't, uh, you, oh, all we get is the Skype logo because you don't have your camera on, Ray. Ray? Ray! <laughs> well, I uh, guess he's gone. Fuck. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. I, no, I don't even want to talk about it. Okay. All I right. Wanna... I had a shitty day. Uh, yesterday, I, I get this special food delivered that I'm only supposed to eat to be on this keto diet. Mm -hmm. It doesn't show up. FedEx says, uh, sends a thing that says it was delivered at 112 yesterday. It's not there. <laughs> so I wait and I figured, okay, <coughs> uh, you know, maybe they'll, they said they delivered it and they didn't really deliver it. Kind of what they do to you. Yeah. So today, this morning I call them. And said, uh, <coughs> you know, where's my food? Because I'm not eating the right stuff mm -hmm. when I don't have that. Mm -hmm. And they said, oh, well, it's been delivered. Said, no, it's not. No, it's <laughs> no. So back and forth. Finally, they said, well, we'll overnight you what you need. And uh, so that that's how my day started. <coughs> okay. After that, uh, tonight, because I didn't have any food, I ordered a delivery. And if you go on Yelp and you order something, it gets delivered through Grubhub. Well, the guy had a bad attitude. I told him to take the meal and eat it himself. And, uh, you know, so, I mean, that, that's, how, that's how the day's been going all day. Mm -hmm. well, let me see here. Wait a minute. I can't get anything delivered. Oh, no, what do you know? Josh came in without any problem. I, you know, none, none of this makes any sense ever. You know. Well, he's from a swing state. He's got special dispensation. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So there he is down there. Uh, hi, Josh. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you? Yeah, I don't know why you order this food for, you know, for a diet like that. Just look at the diet and cook the food yourself or pick it out whenever you see it. You know, uh, 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 those portion diets control. are easy enough. Fuck portion control. Well, Fuck that's my portion problem. portion control. No, it isn't your problem. You can, if you, if you just, if I tell you in the morning, have some bacon and eggs and have as many eggs as you want and as much bacon as you want. And if you want a little snack, try some cheese. Pistachio nuts are very good as a, as a little treat. For dinner, have a steak. Uh, if you want a little lettuce and salad, put some salad and put some uh, uh, oil on there and maybe a little bit of vinaigrette. And just do that day in, day out, day in, day out. And don't send away for those fucking meals because portion control don't mean shit to a tree. Well, uh, <laughs> I, yeah, I think you got a point there. My problem is lunch. You know, maybe I should just get those things for lunch. And this way I have them. You throw it in the microwave for two minutes. The shit tastes good. And, uh, and I'm not eating bullshit. McDonald's. They're charging you way more than you should have to pay for <laughs> food. You know? yeah. It's going to be hard to lose weight on food that you do cook yourself because they put a lot of stuff in there that adds calories. Uh, this is a keto diet. Uh, thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. And how do yeah. you know it works? I don't. I can't even get it delivered. Okay. How much, do, how much does it cost you? $138 a week. Oh, Whoa. fuck you. Are, you. are you out of your fucking mind? I can feed myself for that on my low-carb diet. Yeah. Yeah. And Shit, man, you could probably do heroin for half that and lose weight <laughs> that way, man. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, once I go homeless, then I'll then I'll do the heroin. Couple of hits a day, you fucking yeah. be out and want to eat, man. You ever seen a heroin addict? They're all fucking skinny. Yeah. 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 All right. Yeah. Where's my Where's my uh, work? So, like Bubs used to have a joke. They used to say, uh, "Hey, that guy so f is really fat, but he does cocaine all the time. What does he cut it with? Butter." <laughs> <laughs> Oof. 
Yeah, it's hard to snort. Yeah. So anyway, so uh, you know, I mean, it, it just you know, and to then also have your keto diet. Who is the delivery organization here? Uh, well, it was coming FedEx, but uh, the company is called Factor Seventy Five. Oh, good. Whoa. Yeah. It, yeah. Boy. Yeah, they're a big just, company. Just go and, online. Uh, look. Well, of course look, they are. Just for 134 go, bucks a go week. Go online. Look at stage one, where you take in 20 carbs a day, and just take in 20 carbs a day. Yeah. And I, I know. And, I've read and, the book. And you, you, you don't have to sit there and and guess. I mean, I for couple of days looked at the various thing how much had this and that and everything else and after that i just simply adjusted my diet to that and i lost 60 pounds mm. okay but i didn't send the way to bob's keto palace to get my <laughs> fucking food well, no. was big boy i think yeah what <laughs> Well, anyway, I've been having delivery issues, and and I'm and I'm to the to the point where I'm not going to use Grubhub anymore. You know, those, those guys suck. And uh, you know, here, uh, uh, you know, Ray. Now, have yeah. you become a uh, internet millionaire because of uh, your uh, Uber? Um, uh, you know, Uber's gone to um, gone no. public. No. no, I didn't get any stock. <laughs> Oh, they didn't. They didn't take care of their drivers. No, of course not. Do you know how much they charge? How much they tell them? How much they charge? Charge the drivers. Charge them? Yeah. How much they charge you when you use it when you when you drive for Uber or do you just do Lyft? Zero. They take a piece of the action, yeah. right? Oh, twenty five percent. Yeah. Oh, really? In New York, it's thirty five. Yeah, it's less here. And you know, right now there's a class action suit against Apple for taking thirty percent from uh, web developers that put apps on their uh, uh, app program. Yeah, I know. And 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 that's getting a uh, uh, a, a lawsuit. Yeah, well, right. I mean, you know, that 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 was long time in coming. Yeah. I mean, uh, Apple is a company who is just rife for many lawsuits. Yeah. Uh, but what's wrong with charging thirty percent to be on the app? I mean, if it wasn't on that platform, they they couldn't use it. Because you can go and make an app for the Android, of which there are more phones than there are iPhones, uh, yeah. and the development costs aren't as high, and the programming isn't as difficult, and they don't charge you that kind of money to have a. Ha uh, for instance, I have an app on uh, on on the Android. We have a GabNet app for the Android, and we don't pay a penny. Well, that means that if if you don't want to pay, you develop for the Android. If you want to be on an Apple iPhone, you pay thirty percent. What's I don't see anything wrong with that. I don't think they're doing anything. I'm sure they're Apple gives. I'm wrong. sure if you check, Apple probably gives a break to bigger companies who they want to have apps from. Well, that makes sense. Like, uh, don't you don't you think that Apple probably gives a, a certain uh, lower price to CBS to have their app on the T on the a Apple TV. Yeah, but more people buy the CBS app than buy, you know, Bob's uh, you know, download app from, uh, all I'm saying, from Big Bob. All, all I'm saying is that the only reason I've never been on on the iPhone is because the programming is so difficult. I was able to find companies where I could uh, use, uh, I use a, a, a thing I pay uh, four ninety five a month for to put the FIOS together. Yeah. yeah. Where are we getting all this this noise from? Uh, no, that's some clown outside honking his horn. Oh, is that no, what this it is? was this was slapback though. Yeah. Fire off a warning shot. <laughs> yeah, you're in Arizona. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Are you packing? <laughs> and I'm not talking about what's in your pants. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let me see here. Here comes Bree. We probably won't see his face, but you know, I'll have to call him back too. I'm sure. No. Well, yeah. Yep. Yeah, there we go. Hey, that was nice. I, I heard on the show last night well, you stuck up for me with some, uh, you know, elitist lady that wrote yeah. you a uh, note. Uh, here, here, here comes Bree. He's sideways. Um. Uh, Bree, you, you turn yourself the other way, please, Bree. Be be nice about it. Uh, 
<laughs> I think he's using Periscope or something. It has to yeah, be. No, no. no. Listen, uh, Bree, would you turn yourself landscape, please? Because that does not look good on our screen here. Thank you. He's probably got some sure. Russian phone this week. And, uh, and the Russian phone only Chinese. Uh, in, in one direction. Yeah. It's Chinese. Oh, is it a, a Wei Wu, the one that uh, they no. don't want in this country? Wei Wei. Uh, Wei Wei. This is a high sense. High sense A2 Pro, dual yeah. sided screen, e ink on one side, mm -hmm. LCD on the other. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, let's see. We missed Tony Magno, but and he didn't come in automatically. So let me uh, go. Hey, uh, uh, hold on a second. Let me go add him here. Okay. Bree's curtain kind of looks like Tony's wallpaper. What were you gonna? What were you saying? <laughs> what were you saying, Bree? What? Well, why is it that uh, no one was? I, I'm just doing my taxes now. And mm -hmm. I swear I did not know there was a new tax form. Like you oh, never know. Yeah. It's the worst. I, and I don't know what to do. Like, do I have to cut it and then try to print to the back side of it? Uh, it's confusing. Well, I haven't had to had to look at. Uh, hello there, Tony. Uh, I haven't had to look at a, uh, a tax form in years because my business manager does it. Although I see it. I, I do see copies of it. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Bree, you can't fill out the tax form online where you can type it in uh, on the page? I don't like to do online stuff. Call me old-fashioned. I like to print the paper, write it in there. You might mm -hmm. have a hard time doing that in another year or so. The, you know, the, I think that's what they're doing yeah. with this yeah. form. Yeah. They're yeah. forcing you. Because, like, I, I don't, if you've seen it, it only prints on the, on the top half. And then it's like, it's a weird size. It's not quite half a page. It's not. Uh, I have an idea. Uh, Bree, go to irs.gov, print out the form, and then uh, do what you got to do. But yeah, all I those forms are and they're printable, and they're on irs.gov. I, I, I printed them. But what I'm saying is it's two half pages. It looks yeah. weird. Oh. Well, <laughs> it was a way that they were saving money by using half pages. Yeah, two you half pages. Twice as many pages. No, well, two half pages equals one page. So you feel like you're getting more for your money. So could I could I copy the second page to the front page below? I would imagine that you they want it uh, on that exact form. You know, you're not even allowed to staple the damn things together when no, you okay. put them in the envelope. Yeah. Nobody has the staple paper. Plan. What did everybody do? You know why they don't want Nobody's... them stapled? Because the amount of time it takes to remove those staples times 100 million forms uh, yeah. is a lot of time. So that's why. Can't they... he just e-file like we could? He don't want to. He doesn't want to. He doesn't want oh, to. You yeah. get your money back faster. What do you mean you get your money back faster? I'm that's not in a rush. Right. You, ma you <laughs> mail it in, it gets back to you fast. You know. I, I, I don't know what it's like to get money back. Oh, yeah. Don't you take those losses? Going for lunch, write it off. <laughs> yeah, you really can't. You can't write off Dennis? Not really, not anymore. Not unless you want to get audited. They're not going to audit you for a steak dinner here and there. You probably uh, Nah. No. Uh, I, I don't do that. I don't even write off anything that's got booze. If if it's actually uh, uh, like travel and education expense or something like that, if there's booze, I don't even write it off. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, there's not much you can write off to anymore anyway. You yeah. Know? I mean, it used to be that I, uh, you know, I, I used to buy electronics a lot because every time I bought electronics, I, it was tax deductible for me. Now it's not, you know. Oh, it stinks. Uh, it, it really, it's... it's um, uh, it's, it's, they, 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 they screw you, you know. Yeah. Hey, uh, you know, the, that program that made your machine crash originally and you think it might have made it crash tonight, why are you still using that one? Do you have to? Yes. Oh. Okay. I, would, I, I would like to, uh, oh. but... Uh, Can you uh, find out from the program people, you know, if there's an issue with uh, running it on the Mac or... You know, if they've had other machines crash due to the due to that program, uh, I have no idea. But we just lost Bree. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah. He filed his taxes. Yeah. So <laughs> um, you know, uh, uh, we'll wait for him to come back. Um, 
or maybe yeah. it's so weird. I can't see the I can't see the screen with everybody in it for some reason. Uh, <laughs> really? Yeah. You know, you know, um, this is this is one this is one of the things that is really getting to me and making this not be fun anymore. And that is the amount of time I have to take each night from doing a program to solving technical problems, you know. Jeff isn't calling back because he doesn't know how to answer the phone. He does not answer Skype. Skype won't let me do the thing like I used to do it. I mean, it's just one thing or another. And after a while, I'm spending, you know, 10 minutes a show just on solving technical problems. Whenever I have problems, I just go back to the basics. You know, I know you like this, but just go back to the basics. Hey, you know, I'm going to have talk to, each other I'm, on I'm Skype have, and you put it over I'm the audience. I'm going to have to use Skype anyway, and I'm going to have to add people to the group the same way I'm doing it now. So I may as well broadcast it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you, you know, got a point there. I mean, it, 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 there's, there's not much. You know, the bro, if the broadcasting part, if this thing just worked fine, if Skype worked okay, then I wouldn't have this problem. Here comes Bree again. Let me add him. And, of course, it'll say... Uh, 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 missed call, but he's here anyway, so I will yeah. now uh, put him in the uh, group here again. There we go, and we get Thanks his so. we get his window. Boy, yeah, those, sorry about those that. the only thing worse than those lace curtains is Tony's wallpaper. Yeah. <laughs> Alex, I got Pat. My mother's got paddling in the living room. If I should bring my computer in, do you want to see it? What? She's got paddling in the living room. Paddling. Yeah, you want to see it or no? Yeah, sure, sure. Hold sure. on. Let's, I got the boring game. Let's, let's see here if we can. Um, in fact, I'll go to single screen so that people can uh, can see this. Oh, oh look at the, the. Oh, that's great. That's I'm really, going to hang up. Uh, huh? What? You're yeah. going to why, why are you going to hang up, yeah. Ray? Well, because I can't see anybody. Uh, are you looking on uh, YouTube? But it's not getting broadcast. No, I can't see anybody on Skype except for the person it's, it's kind of, uh, who Alex is highlighting. Well, well, no, this is being broadcast. Yeah. What do you mean? It's not being broadcast. broadcast. All I see is one yeah, little square. One, like right now, I all see I got Greece. is the flag. All you've got is what? Uh, your uh, Alex Ramble flag. Well, I don't know why that is because that's not what's going out. I'm looking at the at the internet right now, and it's it's, it's not that. What, what do you mean you're only getting the, the flag? I uh, see Bree's flag. Why, I hear everyone. Why don't no you screen. Why don't you refresh? Why don't you refresh, Phil? Okay. Yeah, and Phil will go. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, you know, I think my MacBook. Oh yeah, uh, there, there must be. You know, I get this thing that says your computer restarted because of a problem. Plus, any press any key, uh, or wait a few seconds. Yeah, well, tell me about I, computers that keep starting over and over again. Yeah, yeah, yeah it just it restarted. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. So, Alex, I'm moving. You're moving? Uh, what away from that curtain? No. Well, you're moving. <laughs> what, what do you mean? Uh, well, the the crazy thing is, I have a two-year uh, offer in Malaysia, but mm -hmm. the immigration has only approved me for 12 months. Oh. Huh. So are you going to so go... I have to decide if I'm taking it or not. Are you going to go to Malaysia? Yeah, I would love to go. I've, I've been there many times. Yeah, yeah. Let me see. Is Ray back yet? Are you there, Ray? No. And Charlie, you're there, right? Yeah, I'm okay. here. Okay, I just wanted to make sure you weren't frozen. Uh, let me see here. Let me uh, let me call Ray back here. Oh, Ray Renati, Adam. Okay. So Bree is the reason uh, that you want to move because of the people that live above you with the screaming kid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is a big uh, big factor. Yeah. Now you can't get another apartment where you're at, right? Well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Bree. Because you've got a, some kids upstairs making too much noise. Is no reason to move to Malaysia. It's a whole other country. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Now oh, we're wow. trying to call Ray and he's not answering. So you know what's funny is um I see all I, I was walking past a real estate agent yesterday and I see all these like two million, three million, you know, deer hum uh places for rent. Yeah. And and one will say like, oh it's a middle it's a middle unit. And I'm thinking could you imagine somebody, you pay a million dollars for an apartment 
and then you have noisy neighbors, like, whoa, that would be, <laughs> that would just kill me. And there was another time I was in the Philippines. I paid uh, to stay at this really nice, uh, it was Airbnb, but it was a really nice uh, apartment complex. And they were trying to get me to buy a unit there. And I went into this place and it looked really nice, had a pool, had everything. There were cockroaches mm -hmm. throughout the whole apartment all the time I was there. And I'm thinking, why would I spend $300,000 to have an apartment here and just get cockroaches every day? Like, it's crazy. Yeah. Uh, Ray, turn on your camera. Ray, are you That's there? <laughs> 300,000 for an apartment in the Philippines? You can live in well, uh, yeah. Yeah. And you said yeah. a, a million uh in Dubai, was that US dollars or some sort yeah. of see the million yeah. you, 1 million US dollars cuz it's three it's like 3.2 million dirhams, which is so like 900 some thousand that Marina uh, Marina Gate, I think they just built it. It's brand new. It's right on the water, right at the marina, mm. and it's like a three bedroom. Okay, all right. Uh, Ray, are you there? Are you there, Ray? Uh, 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 Ray, not available or something like that. I don't know. I'm, I'm getting so sick of this. It's 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 driving me crazy. You know. If you're having trouble with your phone, with your Skype, then, you know, do us a favor and hang up, <laughs> you know, uh, because uh, it just isn't worth our, uh, our time to have to spend this time doing this sort of shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, I just, I'm, I'm really, I'm, I'm, you know, and, and it's not really the fault of the callers, folks. It's the fault of Skype that they created an uh, inefficient program that works badly and that people have trouble with. And uh, it's, it's sad. It's really sad. You know, it makes me, uh, and, and this is what, what's getting me so, you know, it may, getting me to say, uh, we don't need pictures, Bree, uh, uh, because that's distracting. Um, uh, that's, that's a 3.2 million. What's 3.2 million? For that condo. Yeah. Right. Uh, oh, oh, really? Yeah. Where, where right, right there, right, the water. right there. Well, that's that's Dubai, right? Yeah. Yeah. And the marina. The, there, yeah, yeah. I see that on my uh, t uh, Apple TV where they have these the screen savers. Here comes Ray again. That one. That's the. Uh, this, those are the fountains. This would be a waste of my time. Uh -huh. Watch yeah. this. Oh, Here's that. The that's the fountain. Yeah, Burj Khalifa. Mm. Okay. I have a lot of different. These. Are, this was a calendar I had, and before I threw it away, I I just cut out all the pictures because I really liked some of them, you know. And I didn't want to just wait, just throw it away. Right. Right. Uh, uh, last night when I was playing hooky from the show, uh, I got two first places, and I and I got best of show for the whole night. So uh, with one of my shark pictures. Uh, did well. Are you there, Ray? I am here. Okay, well, you turn on your camera, please, Ray. Yeah, it is, but... No, it's not. Uh, I, flip, I know it says it. it's not, but I am... Uh, well, it's not. Now it, it's... I, I know, I know. What I'm saying is is that it's plugged in and turned on. It says yeah. it's on. Yeah, I'm, ti I'm tired of this, Ray. I'm tired of uh, people who are having problems, you know. If you can solve I have it... No problem. It's not my it, fault. You no, know, if, you, if you can solve it... If you can solve it, solve it. If you can't, then, you know, uh, we Just don't want to... Just hang in there. We, yeah, we don't, we don't want to have to spend the whole program discussing people's technical problems. Well, you don't have to discuss mine because I'm de I know how to do this shit. It's not me. It's Skype. Well, everybody else's camera is working. Okay, well, whatever. Yeah. I mean, if it's plugged in, I just tried another USB port. Well, wait a minute. Go up. Uh, okay, here we go, technical folks. Go up and, and go to preferences. Right. Oh, yeah. there you are. Now we've got you. Yeah, I changed USB ports. Oh, well. 
Well, that that, that uh, well, no, wait a minute. Is no, no it's not. Time. It's not me. Just no, forget that, it. I'll just. Uh, I don't know why it's Ray, doing that. I'll, I'll go to Skype preferences. I know how to do it. Don't worry. I, I have found that sometimes you think the camera's on, and you go to the camera icon, and you click it again, and then it comes on. Okay. You know, but go to go to the uh, go to the preferences. Go to audio, video. See if you've got a camera. Yeah. You know. Well, yeah. Don't don't. I'll do it. Yeah. Because I mean, we you know, you're certainly up there. We just don't have a picture of you. That's all. You know. Yeah. It says uh, it says my camera's on, but it's but it's not coming through. So I don't know what to say. Uh, all right. Well. Um. Yeah. It's just it's. Uh, it says it's on. It says it's showing that my camera is the chosen camera, but there's no picture. When you answered the phone, yep. when you answered your Skype, when I called you, did you answer yep. by hitting the camera? Yes, I did. Are you sure you hit the camera? I'm positive. Because this is what happens when you don't hit the camera. No, I hit the camera. I'm absolutely positive that I hit the camera. Well, uh, I'm yeah. trying something else here. No. Okay. No, I, yep. I, when no. I go into audio, when I go into preferences on Skype, I see myself. Mm -hmm. Well, then your camera's working, but it doesn't mean that you're that you're in in video mode. Is what well, now let me hit the, now the icon went off and I didn't do that. Now it's probably gonna. There we go. There you go. So, I don't know. I, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I don't flip it. To, that had nothing to do with me. That was Skype. Tell tell him, Phil. Uh, well, he said that he didn't touch it, uh, but no. usually if, if you cycle that button, it'll... Yeah. I it'll cycled it twice, like you said, and it didn't yeah. do anything until uh, I went into preferences again. Yeah, people uh, love our technical problems because we have a lot of people watching tonight. I don't know why. I'm, I'm miserable. Phil's hungry. <laughs> uh, you know. Not anymore. I just went for $30 worth of sashimi. Oh, well, what, what happened to the keto diet? Yeah, I don't have it. It it didn't show up. So you don't when you don't when you don't have the keto food, you come up with an Ramadan. acceptable substitute of that kind of food you would eat for the diet. Yeah, you don't simply go out and get sh of sashimi. Yeah, with all the rice in the sashimi. No, no rice. Oh, okay. Is it fried? No, sashimi's raw. It's raw. Okay, well then you're okay. Yeah, no rice, just yeah. raw. What else did you uh, have with it, Phil? Salad yes, and salad. miso soup and miso soup. Okay. All right. Well, you're okay. All right. So you, what do you need the keto diet for? Well, that was thirty dollars. The keto diet I could eat all week for hundred and forty. Uh, you know. You're, believe me. <gasps> believe me. You're gonna eat the keto diet. You're gonna you get that keto shit. You're gonna eat it, and then you're gonna still be hungry. And you're gonna snack between meals. <laughs> well, he knows me. <laughs> yeah, so you know, <laughs> it, 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 if you want to lose fucking weight, you can lose fucking weight. Okay, I'm telling yeah. you, you know, and apparently you don't want to. Well, uh, my mouth says I. One do. day I looked at myself and I said, Bennett, you have become a fat pig. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and, and I used as my judge uh, my old friend Steve Gruber, who was fat most of his life. And I finally said to Marjorie, "Do I am I going to look like Steve?" And she said, "Yes." And that was the day I started dieting. Wow. And I knew that it was going to be the long haul, but I kept it up. And I never got on a scale for months. I never got on a scale. I went. You didn't own a scale. Six eight months. <laughs> no, I had a bad one. I never got on the scale. Yeah. I just kept to the diet. Just kept to the diet. Kept to the diet. And then finally, one day, I said, "Okay." Uh, I think I can. Uh, I think I actually went for my yearly checkup with the doctor, and they checked my weight, mm -hmm. and uh, they said, "Oh, you're 122," and I had been 145 a year earlier. I think you you forgot 100 pounds there. What? Well, excuse me, 200. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And then I lost. I just kept losing, and uh, finally went down to. Actually, I got as low as a, as 180 at one point, but I I. Put on about ten pounds because I wanted to, you know. Yeah. Uh, I wanted to make sure that I wasn't I wasn't just wasting away, <laughs> you know. Yeah. So nah. you know that that was the problem, but uh, anyway. So anyway, I don't know if this new machine, this fixed machine, is fixed or not. But the first thing it did within the first twenty minutes that I had it plugged in, is it 
rebooted itself. Uh, <laughs> Did it do an automatic update? Well, well no, I was you. No, I was you. No, this is a Mac, and they don't do. Oh well, no, no, you can. Uh, they'll, they'll, oh, you can no, no, set this, it. To... This wasn't an automatic update. So oh. what I did was it was because I started this one program, and then it went bonkers because yeah. it always asks, "Do you are you allowing this program to use incoming stuff?" And you go, "Yes," but it didn't ask me that question. It just booted up, and so. Uh, it could be that that was the problem because when I looked at the list of what was wrong with it, it said that the uh, securities shut it down. So oh. I'm going to hope that this thing, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to use it tonight. I'm not going to use it tomorrow night. I'm not on next Tuesday. I'm off next Tuesday. Oh, okay. And um, uh, I'm going to, uh, in the meantime, I'm going to bring the thing in, plug it in, turn it on, and make sure it doesn't crash. And if it yeah. doesn't crash over a period of like four or five days, I will consider it worthy of being used. At which point so, I will do a show, and in the middle of it, it will reboot itself. You know. So, so what did they say they replaced this time? Uh, the logic board. And uh, and not nothing that they replaced the first time. Oh yes, they replaced the CPU again. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, so, they and what did they, they say the value of this repair they, was? They apparently uh, another two thousand uh, dollars. Wow. They they um, they probably um, um, they said that, and it looks like they said they were able to recreate my symptoms because wow. uh, it, they, they said that they were clearing up the symptom they had created, they had seen happen. So they were mm -hmm. going back and, and, and replacing things to do that. So now the only thing left that hasn't been replaced is the flash memory yeah, and the power supply. Uh, did you uh, reinstall the operating system? No. Why? Well, because whatever they created, maybe there's a trace of that in there that recreated the problem. No, they, 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 but they, they sent it back to me without having erased the uh, memory. So I have all my programs and everything. It's all, it's all ready to be plugged in here. But, Good. you know, I, uh, I, I will wait till the weekend to, to plug the thing in. And I'll uh, keep it on for a couple of, uh, for a day or so and see if it crashes because, it, you know, I keep wanting to run into the other room now to see if it's crashed. Uh, yeah. You know, so it, it just, it just drives me nuts. Drives me well, crazy. I'm sorry that I made it worse, but uh, today well, but I was you, doing the best you know, I could. But it's not just you; it's everybody because everybody has a pro one problem or another because of this fucking Skype. Now yeah. I'm asking you people, be honest with me. Did the old Skype work better than this one? Drastically. Yeah. Yeah, except I like the way this looks. No, now, no, not, no, not, no, you know. no, no. I don't even like the way it fucking looks with that, with the circles and the. No, no, no. Uh, mm -hmm. What you do with it on the YouTube, uh, you know, uh, yeah. on the actual, yeah. uh, on the broadcast. Yeah. I, I like that. Yeah, that's fine. But uh, yeah. uh, uh, not having to do that would be vastly superior if people didn't have all these goddamn problems. You know, yeah. but I mean, uh, 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 they, as frustrating as it is for you and the problems that you're having, mm -hmm. we're we're all having the same kind of problems, and it's just getting compounded on you because you know you're having those plus you yeah. plus you're having hours. Well, I don't want to have to sit and explain to Jeff, hey, I'm going to call you back, just answer it, you know, because uh, well, uh, uh, Jeff is not a technical guy, and if his wife isn't well, around, he's going to have problems. <laughs> Well, Jeff, Jeff called me about a, about a month ago, mm -hmm. and he said, hey, you know, I really want to do this right. He says, can you help me figure out what I need to do to get on the Skype? And, and I did, but then Skype started having problems to where you had to call him back, and, mm -hmm. it, you know, because he, he felt bad that uh, he wasn't uh, doing it right. Well, you know, I, didn't li I don't like the new Skype. In fact, I don't even really look at it much. Uh, I look at the at the screen that I've created. It seems to be more uh, uh, important to me. Uh, yeah. You know, uh, that way to see that. But I I look at it and I um, uh, what bothers me is 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 just that I don't want to have to go through uh, a clumsy process in order to get people on the air. You know. It's clumsy enough that I have to create, uh, a, you know, 
uh, people in the on the page, but you know that's that's not a big problem. If people call and they're there, and I can then go down here and I just oh, which the only thing is that you don't use your real names. You yeah. you use names like uh, well, let's see here. Who do we have here? We have we have uh, Bree, we got scuba Bree diver PBG, PGH. We have Charles Wallace. That's pretty good, Charlie. Thank you so much. Josh, that's pretty easy. Ray, Ra, pa, what is it? Ray Rapa? Um, I, I have no, I mean, the thing is, is like, it's showing my name on the screen. Yeah. It's showing, and, uh, and, it, and cool. it used to show my name on the old Skype. Yeah. Uh, now and, it shows and, my username. Uh, which I, I mean, which I, which I yeah. can't change Tony's, unless I open a new Tony's account. Tony's Tony Quisp, uh, uh, Phil is Scuba Diver twelve seventy five, which all those are okay because I know who they are now. Okay, uh, I know who these people are. But well, when, it's showing you the account. It's not showing you yeah. the name that we put up. No, that's no, the name no. I put up is just Phil no, Meyer. No, that's the ID. It's not the name you put up. It's the ID you use. Like uh, if you, the ID if, of the Skype. If account. you tried to get Phil Meyer, for instance, or Phil M, they yeah, probably say, "Well, they, that won't work." They're already Phil M's. Yeah, so there's already Phil M. Right. You know. Uh, you know so uh, uh, the reason why when I call you it says Gabnet Live is because I got Gabnet Live as my ID. But what it's doing is showing me your ID. It's not showing me your name. Yeah, I know that was a good idea. Yeah. I wonder who came up with that. Yeah. So that I get all these weird ridiculous. things, you know. Yeah, it's absolutely ridiculous. And these are geniuses over there at Microsoft. How this company wound up being a multi-trillion dollar business is beyond me. Uh, they're not a trillion. I thought uh, for a little while Apple was a $1 trillion business. Uh, but I didn't think that Microsoft had reached that as yeah. far as uh, market cap or. Right. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, but I mean, and, and what they did when they created this new Skype, what what they did, and and this is what's terrible about it, is they created a new Skype that would appeal to the kids. You know, because yeah. it's got all these little icons and things you can do with it, and you can chat with each other while you know, in spite of the fact that you're actually talking to each other. You know, now this is an yeah. unknown person. Okay, so what's going to happen with unknown person? Well, uh, let me see if I call unknown per. Oh, well, there's unknown person up there. Oh, yeah. who, who just joined us by phone, I think? Hello? Did anybody join us by phone? So now... They're not known. Well, no, me, you're there. Let me see here. If I were to go plus, does it say unknown person? No. No, so unknown person got on. What are you doing? Unknown person, are you there? Oh, they, hung, they just hung up. <laughs> okay. See. So, Alex, as soon as unknown person called, mm -hmm. my screen disappeared again. I didn't touch it. So, you know. Wow. I mean, all I see is you right now, Alex, in a little square. And what? the other screen, the main screen, just disappeared. Are there all are there any circles up at the top? Uh, no. It's Pressure just you escape. on a little tiny screen. Press your escape button. Okay. No. Nope. Did that bring it back? No. Nope. I don't uh, want. I don't want to cause. Oh, uh, click the click on Alex's picture, uh, oh, on yeah. on Alex's thing. That's uh, this that square. Yeah. Just well, click on it. I did. It doesn't do anything. No. Okay. Now you're there, Phil, in the little tiny square, and and uh, the main square is gone. Oh, now it's back again. It just reappears for no reason. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's magic. You see, folks, this is what I'm pissed off about, is that we have to deal with talking about this. This is really discussing the issues of the day. I should just start doing a show once a week called Skype Fucks Up, and then we just do a whole <laughs> show and try to do stuff where Skype is constantly fucking up on people. Well, just keep it to a 15-minute segment. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> unfortunately, this has been going on for a half hour. Yeah. yeah, you know, uh, and and you use half of it tomorrow. What? You can use the other. I'm not even. Gonna, I'm not tomorrow. even going to put this thing up on Facebook tonight. Fuck it. You know, I mean, I, I just, I, I all I want to do is a fucking show. Um, mm -hmm. You know, 
But uh, anyway, Bree's back with us again. We actually can see his shining countenance. Um, how's everything in your part of the world? What, what's, the, what's, the, what's your latest take uh, in your part of the world about our part of the world? Well, we're currently under a tra uh, advisory here. For what? Uh, oh, the Iranian thing? The embassy has issued an advisory that we're supposed to be vigilant Oh, the American embassy? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's yeah. part of this uh, campaign to drum up the uh, fear that Iran is going to attack some boats or something. Yeah. They moved uh, 60 boats. Uh, our satellites uh, showed the boats, and they were the type of boats that could have missiles on them, but they couldn't see the missiles on the boats. Mm -hmm. yeah. How do you know that's a true story, Phil? Uh, I, where did I hear it? <laughs> uh, I, you know, now that I have this serious in the car, I, I listen to C-SPAN, uh, but I don't think I heard that on C-SPAN. On C-SPAN, they're reading the Mueller report. Do you, know, uh, do, you know how, do you know how it makes me feel when I hear that somebody says, I, use, I listen to Sirius? Yeah, yeah, I'm sure it doesn't make you feel good, but I got it for five bucks a month. <laughs> That's true. I get it for free. Yeah? How, how do you get it for free? Yeah. I'll tell you. I I bought, very early on, I bought the um, the boom box thing. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a portable one you put in the boom box. Mm -hmm. It always works. It always gets serious, always gets the channels. I don't know why. But wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on a second, though. You're not. You're in a place where the satellite isn't available. Oh, I gave it to my brother. Oh, okay. All right. And uh, anyway, it still it still works. I don't know if it was tied to the fact that I bought a lot of stock early on, and like they yeah. somehow connected that I was a major stockholder, uh, or. I don't know, but it still works, and they, and I don't pay anything. Well, until a few weeks ago, mine still worked. Yeah, my account still worked. They forgot to turn it off. So. Bree, did you buy the stock when it was a nickel? Um, I bought it when it was... Uh, I was there when it was a, a nickel, and I should have bought it. You know. what, what did you buy? It, 25 have... cents? Who, me? No, uh, Bree. It was a dollar said... twenty-five. So you did quite well. Did you hold on? I to bought it? twenty thousand twenty thousand shares. Oh. Wow. Yeah. yeah, and did you sell them? No, I still have them. So how much are they That's worth great. now? I think I don't I know. Think I think it's around ten dollars, isn't it? No, not even. Oh close. no, it's five dollars, five thirty-five or oh. something. Last time I looked. Okay. No, it's actually still? it's five. Four hundred percent profit. Mm -hmm. Well, some hey, of them I bought at dollar twenty-five, and some were like maybe as high as two fifty. So, but if it's at five, then I'm still good. Yeah, I'll I'll check. Uh, so Microsoft's market, market cap is almost a billion. Almost, yeah. yeah. I should divest and go into another area with it. Well, it's, was, it's, uh, it's, it's uh, I have I have uh, serious stock, uh, which was sure. uh, uh, non-vested uh, non stock. In other words, just they gave it to me. Uh, wasn't like I had a. a you know, a, a price that I had to meet before I could sell it or make profit, a strike price. Five sixty-five. Uh, yeah, uh, and I, I, you know, it's still worth about. I guess I've got about, I don't know, somewhere around twenty thousand. Yeah, so I'm, I'm, a, you know, I'm okay, you know, with it. But I, and I'm, I, I'm not getting rid of it because it. it, that, it that's it, a, that's over a hundred thousand dollars in stock. What do you mean? So a yeah. hundred thousand dollars? Twenty thousand shares. I said yeah. I didn't oh, say twenty thousand shares. I said I had twenty thousand dollars. Oh, oh, worth. okay. You didn't put the dollar on there. Yes, I did. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So. Yeah. <laughs> I, I you... okay. Well, it must have been Skype. Say... I didn't hear it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Gabnet dollars just went yeah. up. Yeah, dollars. <laughs> so, so What's the market cap on that. Yeah. So, so tell me, uh, uh, Josh. Anything in the news that you've been bothered by today? Not today, I know. I was pretty busy today. I didn't watch much news. Yeah. Yeah. 
another state uh, instituted a uh, very uh, draconian uh, ban on abortion. So now you've got uh, Alabama and the other one, was it Missouri or uh, one of those? Missouri is a new one, yeah. Uh, is Missouri the other one that just introduced Missouri that? Missouri just entered yesterday, I think. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, so I think that, yeah, they're probably trying to push this to the Supreme Court. Uh, I don't, you know, as as Alex said, even Pat Robinson said it couldn't pass. But on the other hand, you got these other states like New York and and uh, Virginia that want infanticide. You know, oh, you you try to abort the baby in the ninth month and it lived. Well, kill it. It's not infanticide. I mean, I don't you know I don't agree with late term abortion personally. But, There's no but, late-term killing of a live baby. But then you just kill them babies. It, it, it's never happened. They don't have a live birth and then they decide to kill the baby. That yeah. never has happened right. in the history of the fucking world. Well, why That's Why did they say that it's the rule, law of the land in New York and in Virginia? No, 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 no. no. They didn't say that, Phil, that you could have late-term abortions. That's it, you know. That's any third trimester abortion could be anywhere from seven months to nine months, but they're not going to do it after it's born. Well, in uh, uh, Missouri, they're talking about eight eight weeks. Yeah, well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. They have. You want to hear how stupid? The, I think the one in Virginia is, uh, and it may be the same way in, that, in that's Missouri. That's the late term. No, th they say that it is against the law to get an abortion once you know you're pregnant. Oh, Virginia is the late term. Yeah. yeah wait, 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 you're not paying attention, Phil. What did I just say? You said it's against the law to get a uh, an abortion once you know you're pregnant. Yeah. So so if you don't know you're pregnant, you can have an abortion. This is what they said. You can have an abortion. <laughs> That's what they said. Yep. But if you didn't know you're But you said Virginia. It, no, I, uh, Alabama. Oh, okay. It's like okay. a trick question. What? I'm gonna get an abortion. It's like a trick question. Like you can't yeah. get it, but if I, I I'd be all confused. They're forcing you to keep it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Well, yes. Bree has his hand up. Bree. Uh, th this discussion uh, brings to mind this story that I read recently in Chicago, um, where there was a 19-year-old, I think teenage, uh, pregnant uh, woman. I don't know if you heard the story. She went to pick up baby clothes from a Facebook ad, and the when she got to the house, they strangled her and took cut the baby out. This Ooh. is in Chicago. Did you hear that story? Oh, no. my God. No, I no. didn't hear that story. Yeah. That's kind of ugly. It, it's uh, it, it came up on my feed. It was uh, CBS Chicago reported Marlon Oka, I can't say her last name, but she was 19 years old. She had a three-year-old boy, She was, and she was married. Uh, I think, I don't know, maybe I'm getting some of the details yeah, yeah. mixed up. But they, I've heard of these cases before. Every you know couple of years they come in, and it's usually the people who conduct the violence, uh, they had a miscarriage or they were unable to have a kid and they wanted to have a kid and so they engage in this uh, violent uh, crime you know and it's just very sad sure it's not some sort of weird religious uh, kind of thing <clears throat> well they haven't reported it it just uh, it was just on CBS uh, Chicago it popped up on my feed yeah, and since we were talking about well, abortion, anyway, anyway, uh, what I'm saying is, is that the, the stupidity of this whole thing is that you know uh, things like uh, these these legislators in in uh, in Alabama were making all kinds of statements about uh, about medicine and about you know when things are this and when things are that, and they don't they're not doctors they don't know shit they're not scientists they're a bunch of old fucking farts. Who are gonna have a hard time getting laid if they do this? You know. And who was the clown that said that the law was gonna require them to take an ectopic pregnancy and reimplant it in the in the uterus? Yeah. And there's uh, no. I don't. I've never heard that. that. Yeah. 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 That was a Republican uh, state senator that uh, I don't know if it was Alabama or Georgia, but it was one of those states with the new ban. I don't know where you hear that stuff. 
you know, yeah, it's, somebody it's has a news. A MSN topic pregnancy, technology. they usually don't, you know, it doesn't, they just, you know, that can kill them, right? Yeah. Yeah, it can kill the woman, but they don't give a shit about the woman. Oh. Yeah. I, 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 don't, I don't hear that kind of stuff. I, I don't know what you're listening to or, you know, <laughs> you know. No, Leftwingpropaganda.com or something. Google yeah. it. Just, just Google reimplantation of, of ectopic pregnancy. And okay. This guy's, this idiot's name will come up. Okay. Uh, yeah, but these guys, these guys are morons. I agree. I agree with Alyssa Milano. I think she had a great idea. Until, until the guys can get it together and make sure that abortions are allowed in this country, uh, women should deny men sex. Yeah. yeah. Either that or start passing laws that regulate men's bodies. Yeah, well. You know. <laughs> that'll, that'll end it right away. You know, the funny part about it is I honestly believe that if women did this, uh, these problems would be solved really fast. <laughs> you know? Uh, it, it would uh, just, boom, that's it. Okay, that's all we, that's all she wrote. So yeah. some, some nut. Uh, uh, says a sponsor of an Ohio abortion bill thinks you can re Ohio, make, yeah. thinks you can reimplant ectopic uh, uh, eggs. The and, you law know, would require. No, it's just that. some moron says. Well, I think you can do it. You know, and you're repeating it as gospel that it's the Republicans that uh, you know they got behind this ectopic pregnancy thing. Yeah, well, some moron sitting there at the bar saying, well, you know, I, I think well, he can do it. You know. it's, a, it's a state senator. Well, that it's some moron. sponsor of the abortion bill. That was a legislature, legislator that was saying that they wanted that as part of the bill. Yeah, House bill introduced John Becker, Republican, seeks to limit insurance coverage for abortion procedures. Oh. Uh, you know, um, uh, the bill is the treatment laid out. Uh, the bill is science fiction, according to Daniel Grossman and OBGYN. Um, yeah. All right, forget yeah. about forget about that. Shit. So this is, that, is just Twitter that, no, Twitter but, stuff. Oh well, good. Okay, uh, but you but you would you you'd be quoting Twitter stuff if it was in your uh, favor. So. I don't quote Twitter stuff. Y yes, you do. I, I quote the facts. Oh, I see. Yeah, it's, that is a uh, fact uh, that this uh, guy has proposed that in the Ohio state legislature. You know, people propose a, a lot fact. of things, you know. <laughs> I propose we should bring back slavery. Is that going to be the rule? You know? Okay, well, I you heard, heard Trump it. say that he wants to overturn Roe versus Wade. I heard him yeah. say that. He did? I well, heard him I get today. Good. And and I don't think it's such a bad thing. Of course you don't. Because you're not whatever he says you're going to like. Because you're on you his team. You don't have to worry about He's anybody part of your team. regulating your body. I will buy the first newspaper that finds out that Donald Trump paid for an abortion at one point in his oh, life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's what Vladimir Well, they, they, sold, they sold your favorite newspaper, The Inquirer. Uh, oh, did it so? uh, how much did they get for it? $100 million? I don't know. I didn't know they sold it. I didn't know. You, yeah. You know. Yeah. The Inquirer I was sold. I used to check out all the time. Yeah. Remember Bat Boy? I used to always read it. We were all like a shopper. We used to say, I got to buy this, I said. My Bat mother Boy. always read the Inquirer at the checkout stand, That's, but she never, did, she never bought it. She my always grandmother it always bought it. I read it every week. I said, listen to the God. I read yeah. it all the time. Yeah. My grandmother bought it every week or every yeah. day or whatever it was. Yeah. 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 Well, I don't know. I had, I had a friend who worked for the National Enquirer at one point, and he said to me, if you... Um, if you read in the National Enquirer that you've got that you've got cancer, go see your doctor. You know, because it wasn't that they lied. The problem was the way they got their information. You know, they paid for it and that was considered a no no in the in the in the business. Let me ask um John, 100 million to Hudson News. Okay, all right, all right. Enough, enough of that. Josh, uh uh again, what 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 are the legal ramifications of what we're talking about now? I mean, um, it, 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 do these people really think that they're going to get this thing past the Supreme Court? I don't know if they believe that or not. I mean, I think they're going to try, and if they get lucky, you know, then so be it. But, I mean, I honestly believe that it's it's just a uh, kind of a, 
uh, gear up to get it all out there in the next two years because everybody knows that the next two years is all about, you know, the next presidential election. Mm -hmm. And I mean, their idea is going to be to kick this around. If they take it to the Supreme Court and they win, well, you know, in their mind, jackpot. And if they don't win, that is going to be uh, uh, something, or maybe if it's not even decided yet, it could actually go beyond two years. They're going to say, you know, look, we need, you know, Trump back or, you know, or the next or another Republican. If Trump isn't the nominee or whatever, you know, we need another guy on the court or whatever. Maybe they take it and they lose and it's five to four, you know, which is probably the best thing that could happen for them in their mind. They're going to say, look, you know, we're one vote away. And oh, by the way, there's a presidential election coming up. And by the time this gets decided, you know, in six more months and. You need to vote for this guy because he'll be in for four years, and Ruth Bader Ginsburg will be 175 years old by then. Sure enough, she'll be dead, and you know we'll start all over again. I mean, it, you know. Yeah, but you know, what, you know what I don't understand is, does the public on the, in the main, if there wasn't an issue being made out of it, do is this one of the major issues for them? I mean, are there people out there? I mean, by the by the by the millions who say. Uh, I think the major issue in this country is uh, is is Roe versus Wade getting rid of it. I, to, I don't think to, so. Yes, to religious people, to, yes, to, to Catholics, Christians, it is the only issue. To many, it's many Catholics. Yeah, many, many Catholics voted for Trump on that alone, including people in my family. Yeah. How many Catholics a lot are there in the U.S.? A shitload. Yeah. 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 Well, then that's every reason to say fuck them. Because we don't have a we this country is not a country a theocracy, and we don't base our laws based on religious tenet. Although we do, oddly enough, because if you if, if you look at the Constitution, a lot of it is based on the Bible. On God, right? Yeah, uh, but but uh, the fact of the matter is, this is not a theocracy, and the fact that you, for religious purposes, don't believe in abortion, great. Don't go get Don't one. one. Don't have one. You have every right not to have an abortion. In fact, I if yeah, I said last night that if I uh, had a woman who got pregnant, and she, uh, uh, what would we do about it? I the last thing I would suggest was abortion. I would say first of all, I'd say we'll do whatever you want to do because you're the one that has to have this kid, and um, if you want to have it, I'm here for you. You know, and that I would prefer you didn't because I would love I would love to have a child. You know, but uh, on the other hand, it's still up to you. Just think, you'd be over a hundred by the time the kid gets out of college. Well, I'm not. Uh, I, <laughs> yeah. Listen, my boys can barely leave the the nest. Okay, so you know, I'm not. I'm not. A, I don't have a problem that way. Yeah. Uh, There's 72 million Catholics in the United States. 72 well, a for, million. Yeah. Out of 200 and. And twenty three point nine percent of it. What? Out of three hundred and twenty million people, it was seventy two million Catholics. Yeah. That's right. That's a lot of crucifix. Well, I mean, uh, you know, what's 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 going to be the main issue in the next campaign? It's certainly not going to be abortion. That's for damn sure. I think immigration. Yeah, but um, uh, healthcare. You know, I, abortion I, is a hidden I, one. It's I, one I, that a lot of Catholics vote on. They they. And that they won't talk about it, but that's why they vote for a particular candidate. If the candidate is against abortion, it's a huge thing in the Catholic Church. I was Catholic my whole life. It's an absolute mortal, horrible sin, abortion. Right. And Did a you... lot of people believe that. Huh? Just using birth control is a moral sin. Yeah, also, well, yeah, they don't want you to do that either. They just want you to have lots of kids. Yeah, yeah but if you're the Republican Party... I mean, it is a it is a calling card of their of their party, okay. But if nothing else, the cost to uh, adjudicate these cases is pretty cheap compared to what they would spend to get the same kind of advertisement dollars for the issue. In other words, what I'm saying is, when you're pushing these cases, people are talking about it all the time, right? Just like we are tonight. The CNNs and the MS, all the news shows, and it's in the news and it's in the newspapers. And I mean, this is just this is almost just like a way. I mean, don't get me wrong; they care about the issue, but it's almost like a free bonus that by doing this for the next two years, 
you keep it in the news and it's all free because, you know, the news is free. You don't have to pay anything for it, right? I mean, you know, I mean, it's just a shit ton of exposure for their number one cause, you know. I mean, in some ways, maybe the left should do stuff like this, you know. I mean, I don't know, pick what our number one issue or whatever is, you know, uh, Medicare for all or something. If you don't like it, fine. I'm just saying, you know, and, and one of our lefty states, you know, like Vermont or something should pass some kind of fucking crazy law in favor of that and get in. And I mean, you know, it's like if that's the equivalence, what I'm saying, that's probably that's what they're doing with this. That's uh, what the Republicans are really good at. Yeah. Yeah, and that's uh, what the Democrats are terrible at. Now, because, I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that. By the that, way, by uh, the way, in this law, yeah. in this law, uh, in Alabama, from what I've been led to believe, I said to somebody, "Well, you know, well, then you just go to the state next door and get your abortion." They said, "If you are a citizen of that state and you go anywhere in the United States and get an abortion, you can be arrested." Yeah, it doesn't like, make sense. Well, that seems illegal to me. It seems illegal, but it but that's the fact. What it, it what is the law, illegal. What the law says, what they the law they've written says is that if you are a, a citizen of that state and you get an abortion, it doesn't matter where, you can be arrested. Yeah, I mean, wow. and that's certainly you know an unconstitutional type of. I mean, it's almost like a constitutional no brainer, but. Again, what I'm saying is it doesn't matter because, you know, it still has to go through the system. And the the pushing it through the system is pretty cheap, I think. I mean, so a lot of these lawyers are doing this, you know, because they also believe in that, that cause or, you know, uh, working for the RNC or whatever. I mean, you know, so it's it's a lot cheaper for them, you know, to do the to do these things than it is advertisement dollars and all that. I mean, obviously that's a ridiculous notion. I mean, uh, I think that the drinking age is 21 in all the states now. I'm not sure, but that's the equivalent of the drinking age in Alabama is 21, and the drinking age in Mississippi is 19. And 19 year olds drive across the border, get drunk, stay overnight, and drive back the next day and could get arrested. I mean, everyone knows that's fucking ridiculous. And, and also, the funny thing is, it says here uh, the hill. Which I I, uh, I think is more to the left. It says no, it's Senate not. Republicans. No, it's not. Senate Republicans are scrambling to distance themselves from the harsh new Alabama law that bans nearly all abortions, even in the case of rape and incest. The uh, GOP senators are trying their best to steer clear of the firestorm, arguing it's a state level issue that doesn't involve Congress. Uh, well, you know. Well, that's but, because they probably many of them, even though they're Republicans, you know, live in a state where. They still have to get reelected. I mean, Rob Portman's a Republican in Ohio. He'll probably get reelected, but he stirs up a bunch of shit, and he might not. That's what I'm saying. They're wanting to make it a national issue because Rob Portman getting reelected in Ohio or you know, so-and-so senator getting reelected in Louisiana or a lot of these places that even though they're a Republican, their legislatures and their representation is fairly decently split is totally different from a general election where it's a Republican presidential candidate versus a Democratic presidential candidate, and we're talking about large-scale issues. I mean, I, I take your point. I'm just saying that's that's yeah. why they distance themselves from it because, again, it doesn't cost them anything, you know, political capital or anything. Oh, yeah, yeah, I don't, I hey, don't Josh, really agree with that, you know. We, a couple days ago, uh, the... Uh, the uh, Supreme Court made a decision, and the and Kavanaugh sided with the liber liberals. What was that uh, on? Do you remember? It was just uh, a few it days was ago. On the Apple antitrust case. Oh, okay. And uh, do you know why he? Uh, 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 I guess he made it the majority, but uh, with the liberal side of the court. Yeah, I I, I don't know what his what his reasoning was. Uh... I, I didn't. I mean, I, I don't. I, I, I don't. I, 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 I don't think the Apple case uh, it, uh, even comes into the territory of being a right or left issue. You know, it's a commerce yeah, issue. Many but times it did I, oh. uh, for one reason or another, huh? uh, because uh, Alito and all those other guys voted the other way, and Kavanaugh dissented from. The, the, Alito voted. Uh, Alito's dead. Not not Alito. Uh, 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 which which is the very uh, conservative Alito. one? Huh? That uh, anyway, uh, all the conservatives except for Kavanaugh voted, uh, you know, uh, the other way. 
And uh, I was just wondering why. Well, I, I, I think Kavanaugh, in spite of what a lot of people think, uh, uh, how much we uh, actually dislike him. What does it say? Catholics? Oh, well, it, 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 Irv, I can't read and do a show at the same time. Uh, what does he say? Catholics have a majority of the Supreme Court on the Supreme Court. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm. There you uh, go. So, uh, but, but the point is that uh, Kavanaugh may be the swing vote. I mean, you know, for whatever anybody thought of him, uh, he could surprise people in that respect. Um, so, anyway. I, I did see a, uh, an article uh, online today about a, a Republican politician that had to resign because uh, he was been he's run on a strong anti-abortion, a uh, pro-life uh, stand, and uh, he had had an affair, got his mistress pregnant, and told her to get an abortion. No, so I mean, <laughs> we're talking about our hypocrites here. You know, yeah. there's a difference between what you believe in the, your heart of hearts and what you believe uh, when it comes down to your personal life, you know. <laughs> and, and these people who are saying, oh, I'm against abortion, I'm against abortion, if all of a sudden they find that somebody they know is uh, pregnant by them, uh, how many of them are going to go, hey, get the abortion, get the abortion? You know, so, I mean, it's bullshit. You know, and, and I... I have always been a believer that, you know, it's a woman's right to make that decision. Uh, I think it would be nice if there was a f potential father involved, if he was asked what he thought by the woman. Uh, but nevertheless, it is still up to the woman to make that decision. And nobody should tell her she can't. And that's it, plain and simple. And none of these laws are addressing what happens when they make a woman give birth against her will, and she dies in childbirth. None of them take responsibility for that death. They don't take responsibility for the children that are born uh, who, uh, who have to be farmed out to foster homes because they can't find, uh, 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 don't have a parent. Uh, nobody says, uh, hey, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm against abortion, so I will take uh, X number of kids. Okay. You know, they're, they're saying that uh, I, there's this woman, Candace Owens. Mm -hmm. Are you familiar with her? No. Uh, uh, she, uh, she's a conservative right. black uh, uh, she uh, person. Yeah. And, and she's, she said, and if I'm getting this right, maybe, Charlie, you can help me, that uh, abortion is, is there to keep the numbers of blacks down in this country, that she says that... Uh, uh, by by doing that, the population, uh, the black population, has been uh, reduced by half because oh, most of the she's full of shit. Well, that's that, bullshit. Well, that's what she said. Uh, well, that, she's that, full of that, shit because women yeah. have been getting abortions before doctors were available, and if they make yeah. abortions illegal, women yeah, but, will uh, still get abortions yeah, when they'll die. Saying, more they're often. saying that Donald. it's it's in, it, disproportionate to blacks on how many are, are getting abortions and that uh, I would say that's 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 I, I would say I would say there is no there is no proof of that because the fact of the matter is that most of the time black young black women keep their kids because yep. they they are kind of lonely and this is something to keep them company uh, I mean well, what, you know to say that to, to say that 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 black people go out and get abortions proportionately larger than white people is probably wrong. You know, one reason why they might be getting abortions is because black women die four, at four times the rate of white women. In hospitals. Uh, yeah, she's saying that... Uh, uh, she spoke at CPAC uh, uh, saying bullshit. that abortion in, the abortion industry targets back black babies. That is such no, bullshit. Well, that's bullshit that's because bullshit. Bullshit. you know what targets black women the most? are hospitals who uh, uh, more black women die in American hospitals than white yeah. women. Yeah, she says yeah. that uh, blacks account for almost 40% of all abortions. Uh, you, you're looking at statistics and throwing them at us, Phil, and we're throwing some statistics at you, and you don't even react to them. Well, you know, I was reading this. Well, quit reading and, and listen. What I'm saying is that white black women in America disproportionately 
uh, uh, die in American hospitals over white women. Where do you get that statistic? Uh, uh, the statistic was, in fact, on a show I watch uh, called The Resident, and they did an, a show about it, and then they ran the statistic at the end of the show, and this was on CBS primetime. Hmm. All right. Well, uh, check out this Candace Owen. No, I'm Owens. not going to check her out. Interesting. Huh? I'm not she, she's a conservative, and she's trying to. She's a mouthpiece for the white right. conservative people. She said she that is, all, she, I can't stand two her. years she ago so, she was a Democrat. Yeah, but this woman yeah. is. I, I, she is so disingenuous. I can't. Uh, she's one of the most. She's full of shit. I'm sorry. I don't believe anything she ever says. I listen. I've listened to her on CNN, Talking yeah. Head. Uh, yeah. She she's full of shit. I don't believe she's all in for herself. Yeah. I don't know. That's, she, you ever listen pretty, to her? Yeah. 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 Okay. I, I, I so you think she was you think good. That, you think that abortion exists to keep black the no. black population small? That's not what That's she said. She said that it it disproportionately targets blacks, uh, black women. But uh, that's a and, misnomer, Phil. And, because and has, so that means and has reduced do you the have population. do you have the statistics, Phil? Do you have the yeah, statistics? Should, like, I got her statistics? No, no, forget 20%. about her fucking statistics. Okay, because we know where she's coming from. The statistic of proportionately how many black women to how many white women get abortions, and I think you're going to find out that proportionately there are more white women getting abortions than black women. And not according to her. Uh, she well, not. 40%. I don't give a shit about her. Uh, what she's, well, I, that's what, where I got the statistics. Well, that. But you're what, getting statistics from a questionable said. source, Phil. Uh, I'm, everything to you is a questionable source, unless it, unless it comes from Walter from Cronkite. One person who has an agenda. Uh, I, I'm not so sure her agenda is 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 not anti-black. I mean, her agenda is is pro-black. And uh, I don't think that's know, necessarily true. Her Why? Because she, because well, she, because she's because black, Pearl Phil. Paying my check. I don't think so. I think she makes her money off YouTube. But uh, oh, she makes her money off YouTube. I see. Okay. Yeah. Right. Well, yeah, I'm not quite sure. And speaking fees and things like that. But uh, she's very articulate. Yeah. And, uh, and she's very interesting, actually. Mm -hmm. Well, I, to you, <laughs> I think yeah. she sounds like an like an You're fucking idiot to me. Huh? He's going to have tea with it. Oh, yeah, of course. Uh, hey, do you know uh, that the Protocols of Zion, 500,000 copies mm -hmm. were paid for by um, uh, Henry Ford? Yes. He was, a, yeah. he was an anti-Semitic. And uh, uh, Andre Dumas, uh, uh, the uh, uh, playwright. Uh, Alexander Dumas from The Three Musketeers? Yeah, The Three Musketeers and so forth uh, contributed to... Uh, the uh, Protocols of Zion. Alexander Dumas, I don't think, was alive that's, in this, that century. The father, Dumas Pass. Or, uh, 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 you, yeah. you get get your story right and then get back to us, Phil. I got it off Wikipedia. <laughs> oh, we did. Anyway, uh, no, uh, it, uh, what's his name? Henry Ford was a big anti-Semitic. He had a, 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 a newspaper called, either, I think, the Dearborn Press that was a big anti-Semitic rag. In, yeah, in a high-end part of uh, Detroit where they all lived, there, it was named after that area yeah. uh, uh, where all the mansions yeah, no, are. He was, uh, he was a known anti-Semitic, very big anti-Semitic. Yeah. And, uh, uh, you know, but, but you, 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 you believe him and read him, you know. You, you, know, you, you, you talk about well, the protocols of I, the I elders of Zion, and then you tell me you like the John Birch Society, and they endorse that rag. I wanted to know what it was about, and what they were doing was spreading a conspiracy theory uh, about Jews in America, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, the press and, and so forth. And the funny thing is, I saw that same kind of conspiracy theory being spread about the Muslims mm -hmm. uh, yeah, on, on YouTube. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Well, anyway, that's it. That's our theme. Thank God I got through another fucking program. Uh, I will do another <laughs> fucking program tomorrow night. Uh, and uh, let's hope my machine doesn't crash between now and then. Otherwise, I may just give up the ghost completely. Anyway, uh, it, it's, it actually turned out to be a pretty good night, all things considered. It started off as a clusterfuck. Uh, but I just simply was trying to play an interview, and it just fucked up on me. Anyway. That and you be, wouldn't admit it. Be that, what do you mean? I admitted it. Well, I asked you what was wrong. and uh, you I know, said you... nothing's wrong. You know, that was before things went wrong. Anyway, 
Uh, uh, that's it for tonight. Uh, thank you so much, Charlie, for being with us. Uh, uh, Tony, so nice for you to be here. Uh, Phil, good having you here. Bree, uh, Ray, sorry I got a little cross at you there for a moment, but you got it together, and now you know how Skype works. Uh, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow night, hopefully. Uh, and you too, Josh. Great talking to all of you. Why don't you give a big wave goodbye, and I'll give a big wave back. Okay, there we go. All right. Okay, let me get rid of them. Uh, oh, uh, let me see here. How do I get rid of them? There we go. Because then then all of a sudden, I will uh, go into sync. You notice that? Yeah, yeah, sync. This is the time on the show when I go into sync. Anyway, uh, next, uh, we're the most of the same uh, gabnet is uh let me just get rid of this stuff here hold on a second i'm trying to oh god i i, I can't i get let me put my glasses on i'm trying to just sign off of here so that i can uh there we go that's active that's invisible all right that's it that's it for our uh, citizen panel the intersection with uh, jack bishop is next over most of the same uh, network uh and then uh, tomorrow night uh at uh, 9 30 uh damien chaplin is here with the exchange and then i'll be back again tomorrow night same time same station in life and in the meantime if you see her tell her i love her okay bye bye everybody